It's really nice to meet you And I'm not just saying that It's not just to be nice But it's good to be nice First of all, how's it going? How's the tour been so far? It's good, it's just the second night tonight um, Well, I mean third, well have been have played two nights yeah. tonight will be the third show um both been really fun i like the room tonight it's very very nice in here i like it a lot the food was good does the no beer policy bother you no i don't yeah my dad drank himself to death so i'm not really worried about right. drinking well, fair <laughs> enough uh the tour is called the mangle foot tour yeah i guess so yeah unofficial you can see the the reasoning behind it what exactly happened with the foot uh, it was run over by a van in New York City. So, I mean, I guess, you know, if someone had been driving where they should have been, it never would have happened. And if they'd been a second later, then nothing would have happened. But if they'd been a second the other way, then I'd be dead. So, I guess, good to country bless. Yeah, it's lucky in a yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, you played you played trillions last night, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, and I've, I've heard you, you, know, you really like that venue. What's it like to play back there again? And well, that's great fun. I mean, the, the people that put on the shows there are uh, just really, really nice. And um, so I've got some friends that I've made over the years in Newcastle. And yeah, the crowd that comes out is just really, uh, I just, it just feels like, just feels like a bunch of buddies hanging out in the pub, you know, which is a really nice mood, yeah. yeah cool. This was like, this uh, this show was like really swiftly pulled together and like, yeah. you know, we, we we tried our best and we, yeah, we got yeah. it together. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, have you had any, any experience, any bad experiences with venues in the UK where you buy it? Sure. I know yeah. there was, I, I read a story on the, the event page, it was like, you got kicked out of a venue and had to run around Manchester for Oh, that's all true. That's, I mean, that's sort of one of my most uh, fondly remembered shows. Um, gosh, this was 2000. Maybe 2000, yeah. or 10 years ago or something. Yeah, I was playing some gig in Manchester, and uh, I guess the promoter or the venue owner, somebody found a syringe or something in the bathroom and right. shut the whole show and kicked everyone out. And uh, so I just, I think someone like ran out and said, I have a place to play or something. And I thought, okay. And so we walked over to some restaurant where the people who ran it had agreed to let us sit in the basement so someone lit a bunch of candles and played a gig. It's, it's still one of my favorite memories. Yeah. So yeah, even when it goes wrong, it works out. Uh, last time we spoke, you was talking about organizing a far tour for later in 2010. Yeah. Is that to be expected in 2011 now? Who knows? No? Who knows? It's, there, there's so many moving parts to that band that I can count on myself and I would love it if we did a proper tour yeah. here, not the records out and all. But that's the thing about bands. There's so many people involved, it's just, uh, it's hard to know. Uh, what, I mean, obviously playing in, in, in here tonight solo, I mean, do you like to play this kind of, like this kind of venue as the full band or? Um, I mean, I don't think no, this kind of venue, no. This kind of venue, I'm very happy that I'm not the full band. This yeah. would be terrible. Yeah, no, I can imagine. I was thinking that. But this is uh, this is the kind of venue I'm really happy I'm playing. So kind of like the smaller venues. I mean, would you or would you would you kind of want the big? Nah, area? I mean, it's I don't mind playing loud shows in small venues, but and there's something quite fun about it. You know, it's all sweaty and crazy, but yeah, it's a lot of volume for a little place. It can be kind of a pain. And it's sort of I'm sure it doesn't sound that good to anyone there, even though it's fun. You know, so it's good fun. Yeah. Um, so you recently you you recently released uh, the first version of your of your, your new album through your website. Yeah. Um, have you had any problems like doing that, releasing it in that way? Well, I mean, not as many people find out about it as when it's through a label and stuff like that. I don't have a promotional budget or anything like this, but I don't mind that. It's kind of it's nice. It feels very uh, just very direct, and um, people have been really receptive to it. And, uh, so I'm hoping the word will just kind of keep spreading naturally. Uh, the second version's on its way. What's yeah. it been like working with fans and then uh, sending in their recordings? Really cool. I'm downloading a drum track right now um, from a, an old friend actually in Sacramento, and um, and then uh, yeah, the first track on the record is gonna have. Let's see. 
a drummer. Uh, well, there's one drummer from the States who put some stuff in, the guitar and bass and all the stuff. And there's a drummer from the UK that I'm using a track from. Um, and then there's a girl playing the glockenspiel uh, in Massachusetts. And um, so, you know, there's just, it's just all kinds of stuff coming together. And then the second track that I was just working on has a, someone in Oakland uh, and someone, I don't even know where the other guy's from, Texas maybe. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. So it's something you uh, consider doing again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. I'm working on this track right now that's got probably... 40 singers on it um, <laughs> so that should be is that the happy track yeah, yeah exactly so everyone's gonna have a line so it's it's gonna be a lot but it'll be fun I think it's gonna be quite cool sweet I mean you know, the whole, you know, a lot of people say oh you know a lot of bands a lot of artists have a big community but you seem to have a real community of people just working on something like this yeah I mean I'm, I'm sure other people you know I know other people have bigger sort of groups of people that buy their stuff and all that but it does it does feel like an actual community it does feel like an actual conversation which uh, which I like uh, I mean I'm really grateful for it I'm really proud of it too and uh, sticking with like interaction with your fans how does it affect you when like someone tells you that your music's really changed their lives or helped them through hard times or that kind of thing yeah I mean it's it's one of those things that uh, a lot of people that do say things like that often before that say hey I know I've heard this before and I don't mean to sound you know da, 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 da. but I, th I don't think they can have any idea how good it feels you know, to hear that, I mean, it just, music has meant so much to me, and, and been such a friend to me at different times, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, just last night in Newcastle, a few people said some really sweet things, and they're still, still with me, you know, I mean, and things that were said to me years ago, I can still remember, just people in a certain situation, and I've gotten some letters lately from people that, uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's, I, don't even, I don't know how else to put it, um, but it's um, it's the best. I saw the uh, the post on your blog about the uh, the guy in the homeless shelter who had some account with it. Yeah, yeah, ALS, Garrick's disease, yeah. Yeah, man, that was, uh, he's apparently doing okay. And yeah, that was a crazy letter to receive, and just to, to yeah, it was an amazing feeling to call someone who can't respond and can't communicate and you know they're listening. I think, I don't know, it says a lot about art. I don't know, it's cool. It's really cool. I'm going to do it more. Uh, speaking of something, uh, so we saw the video uh, you posted on Facebook the other day from the Astoria show a few okay. years ago. I mean, do you still get like that kind of... Uh, did you still get any sort of hecklers like that now? Or? Yeah, well, it's funny. Last night in Newcastle, there wasn't a heckler like that guy, but there was some guy who, I think he... I couldn't quite get the gist of what he was saying, but but I tried to have a conversation with him. Because um, at a smaller gig, you can sort of talk about it more. At a yeah. bigger gig, it's just sort of, you just try and be funny and, you know, shut the guy up. Yeah, you but, dealt with it well. Definitely yeah, no, that was fun. That was fun. But yeah, last night we had a discussion about, I think he thought I was being too depressing or something, and I was trying to make the point that it's not about being depressing, but it is about talking about dark stuff, because that's real. People go through it. And it's only, I think, I think by talking about it that we get to somewhere else. And so eventually we agreed. But yes, it was funny to post this funny heckling video and then have a, a sort of a heckler last night. It was interesting. Uh, last time you played was at the Ruby Lounge and you had like an effects pedal and a guy came yeah. in doing a bit of drumming for you. It's not going to be entirely stripped down or... Yeah, this is gonna have some one like. thing about the foot is that it... <laughs> I can't really press the pedal. I can't do a thing. I can't stand up. I can't bring a pedal, I can't, you know, uh, nothing. So it's, yeah, it's just me and a guitar tonight, but which just felt quite good the last couple of nights. Do you think you prefer doing it like that? I don't know about prefer. I mean, like a full band is crazy and fun. Yeah, yeah. And having a drummer is great, and having effects is great. Uh, it's all, it's like, um, you know, it's like different flavors of ice cream or something. You yeah. Know, they're all quite it's good. still great. I yeah, like yeah. them. Yeah. It's all ice cream. Uh, I checked, I, and this is like a really, really like, Bad journalism move here, uh, but uh, on Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, yeah, always good facts. <laughs> it used to say uh, that you were vegetarian, and All then right. that's disappeared. So yeah, I think I eventually corrected that myself because so many people thought I was vegetarian, which I don't care if they do. But yeah. it's one of those things that I think, oddly, when that's the perception, there are people who care about that stuff so much that when they find that I'm not, they're very disappointed. Stop and think I somehow misrepresented yeah. myself, and I never said I was. 
but it's somehow the rumor spread. I think uh, I don't. I, I literally have no idea why. I mean, I, uh, guess I worked with Peta. You did an interview with Peta. Yeah, I mean, I've worked with them, but in the yeah. Peta interview, I say that. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, it's, so it's, maybe it's just the Peta thing. They just presume. Yeah. Um, but no, that's the whole point. Name and Peta and all. Oh, right. Yeah. There right. You go. Which is fair enough, I guess. But yeah, it's just read a little bit more, and you'll find out. Yeah. Especially before you enter something on Wikipedia, you know. Uh, when you solo, you sometimes do some far songs. Yeah. Like last time you did a couple off the new album yeah. and some older ones. Have you got any tonight? And which are your favourite ones to play? I mean, lately, at Night We Live, the title track of the new one, yeah. I enjoy playing quite a bit. Um, I think the ones I play the most um, and do enjoy quite a bit are like Really Here, Mother Mary. Yeah. Um, I've been playing a couple off of um, Tin Cans lately, which has felt quite good. I've played Giant in the Circus a couple times, which I like. Um, boring Life, fun. Yeah. Um, Sort of whatever comes. There's never no a plan. love American style acoustic. I've never figured that one out. I've sung the words over other songs sometimes, yeah. but it's a, that would be that would be tough on a play acoustic. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot, John. Yeah. Yeah. Thank nice. you very Thanks much. Thanks for being here. Cheers, man. Thank you.